Welcome to video 126 in series 3 and now we're going to use a modified version of Blender to fracture that barrel. So do a Google search for Scorpion 81 Blender. That's a username of, uh, of a guy who's modified Blender. It's a separate version so that it has a uh, superior fracture tool in it. It's better than the uh, add-on cell fracture that's already comes with Blender that can't always give you a good result. Uh, with more complex objects but this usually you can come to a uh, a really good uh, fracture outcome so just follow the uh, link trail so you'll end up here you'll go to there then you'll go to their website and then you'll end up downloading it and what you're going to get is a probably a zip folder so just unzip it and then launch the exe uh, for this modified version of blender Okay, so once you've opened it up, this is what I see. So let me just go out of that. Delete the camera. So shift, select both the cube and uh, the camera. And then just delete uh, them. Okay, uh, so with them gone. And now I can import uh, the barrel. So if I go to Unity, this is the barrel uh, model that I'm interested in. If you right click, go show in Explorer, you'll see it's an FBX file. And this is what we need to import into uh, Blender. Now, not all FBX files are recognized by Blender. Some are of a different format. And there are quite a few assets on the Asset Store that are of that different sort of FBX format that isn't recognized by Blender. So if you come across that, then you need a tool called uh, Autodesk FBX Converter. Well, this is one of them. And you can convert the FBX file to something like .ovj, which will be recognized by Blender. Uh, without any hassle. So just remember that if you trying to import some sort of FBX file into this Blender or any Blender and it doesn't work, then uh, you need to use a converter and convert it to something like OBJ and then you'll be all right. Okay, so in Blender go to File, Import and Autodesk FBX. So navigate to the model. I've just jumped through. I also have a bookmark to help me out. So then just import it. Okay, it'll come through and you'll see that there's some things in the scene. So I'm going to get rid of the barrel collider. I'll just delete that. Gone. I don't need that. I need the barrel. So uh, I've selected it. You can also right click to select it. And I'm going to go to edit mode. This is also always something I do just to check. It depends on the quality of the model. This one's really good. It won't have any uh, vertices that are sitting over each other but haven't been merged. But uh, here we go. You just select uh, remove doubles, go into the edit mode and remove doubles after you've selected it all. You can also use your A key to select or deselect. And uh, w once you do that, then your object will be able to fracture properly. If it isn't, uh, if the vertices aren't merged, you may have funny behavior. So just remember that, that uh, the different models are made with a different level of quality. And generally, well, it doesn't really matter. This is only for us people who are fracturing stuff where this is actually something important. But in general, for models, if the faces are just intersecting each other, it doesn't matter for them, for the artist at all, because or even the majority of game developers, because you can't see that stuff. But when you're fracturing stuff, then suddenly it becomes important because however the fracture algorithm works, it needs stuff to be uh, merged properly. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to change from the solid view to material so that I can see the uh, material. I'll also go back to object mode. And uh, here's the material. There's already one created, but it's missing its texture. So make a new texture and open it up. So I've jumped through and uh, just navigated to the textures folder. Use your bookmark. And then it's the Unity Barrel. So I'll just open that up. Okay, so now I can see the texture and this will help me see what it looks like when it's going to get fractured. Now, uh, the barrel as it is, it's a solid object. So it, it needs to become like this. What I want is that the inside is, uh, it's got a wall basically. I want it to be a thin wall. If you fractured it now, so here's the fracture tool, you'll just get big solid chunks, which is fine for other stuff. But in this case, we want a hollow object. So go to, uh, uh, add modifier, this thing here, and uh, just select solidify. Uh, pick a thickness of something. If you go into uh, wireframe, uh, you might be able to see it a little bit better, maybe not. So, for example, I'll try 0.5, 
and there. Okay, so it's, it looks like it changed. It's become thicker. The, like, the stuff has moved apart. Whatever. Anyway, so I'll go back to the material mode. And I need to hit apply. So don't forget to hit apply. If you don't hit apply, I think it just doesn't work when you come to fracture. Well, not properly. And I'll use fast bisect and fill. This will mean that, the, and I have to select the inner material. I'll use the oil barrel. And this means that all the new faces that created after fracturing will use that same material that we're looking at right now, which is good for us in Unity because the less materials you use, the better. You then don't have to assign two materials to the same game object. Uh, I'd like to reduce the shard count. Try to keep that as down as you can. Sometimes it won't work nicely, it won't fracture properly if you try and reduce the shard count too much, but you need to keep it low because after all this is just a game and every game object that we add with a rigid body and collider is just adding overhead. So just keep it down and uh, you will have to play with the seed value. I mean, it just sometimes it won't fracture as nice as you want. So when you fiddle around with the seed value, eventually you'll come to something that looks all right. Okay. So now I'll just execute the fracture. Something has happened. It has fractured. The UVs can get messed up, but uh, really your players won't notice because this is going to be the exploded part, so you don't have to care. There is a fix normals, but it's just a work in progress. And I find it just doesn't usually work very well, I guess, because it's work in progress. Okay, so I've just converted that. What I did there was to convert objects. Uh, convert two objects, so then I have all the all the shards in the uh, scene. I will hide the barrel, the, the big solid one, so that I can now look at my shards. So if I right click and drag, or I can select here and then just move it, uh, I can see the uh, pieces that were created. So now this might be a, for you, might be a nonsense. You might not like how this thing is fractured. So you gotta fiddle around with the seed. You could select different fracture modes until you got something that you felt uh, okay with. Now, how about the wall thickness? Uh, did I get that right? Yeah, it looks like, uh, it looks, well, it looks vaguely believable. Like, that's the wall thickness, basically. So I'll just keep it at that. So let me undo that. Let me bring it all back into place. Okay, good. And this is uh, more or less ready. I can actually delete the barrel there. Uh, or I can do it in Unity. It truly does not matter. Now what you do is file save as and just save it as a blender file. Okay, so I just went in the menu and did file save as and I'm just going to call this like a, a fractured barrel dot blend. You can keep it as a blender file because Unity recognizes that straight away. Good. So let's go to Unity and let's see it pop up. There it is. That's our fractured barrel. And now we need to set it up, so we won't get to really see uh, too much. We'll see that in the next video when we write some code. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, let me get rid of the animator here. Good. So this is the uh, barrel itself, and I'm not going to use that. I'm simply, in, because the uh, UV will be uh, looking a bit messed up, probably. If I hide these, does, is that the case? I should be able to confirm. Uh, actually, no, it looks all right. So that's fine. I mean, I could use it, but who cares? I've already set up the barrel with all the necessary scripts. So I'm going to get rid of this solid whole barrel. Yes, continue. And for the shards, uh, I'm going to change the material. Uh, so I don't want it oil barrel one. I wanted that. I think it was the unity. It's called yeah, unity barrel. Okay, good. So that's uh, now the shards. They've all got that. And... Hey, that's uh, a little surprising, actually, because, you know, the UVs, they look, they look all right. Well, that was a bit of a surprise. So that's fine then. Well, oh no, there we go. Yeah, so it looks, it is a bit messed up. You can see the, the mesh, the seams here. So it is messed up, but it, it's, uh, your players won't notice it. It'll be in pieces and they won't care. Right. So now let's add component, a rigid body, and I'll put a mass of like 20. Just like that smaller. And add a mesh collider. Okay, it has to be convex. Uh, anything with a rigid body that is not is kinematic. Uh, the collider must be convex. The box colliders, the capsule colliders, sphere colliders, they're all convex by default. But uh, these need to be. Houses and stuff that the player can walk in, they aren't convex. 
Uh, but if you're going to make them uh, objects you can throw, then they have to be convex, and suddenly you can't walk inside of them while you're throwing them. Well, anyway, sorry, that will lead up to a uh, probably a video later. Uh, anyhow, so that's my shards done. Okay. So I'm just thinking about it. I can probably hit play and uh, see it break apart. Yep, good. And those are actually the pieces. Those are the shards. Looks all right. Good. So I'm not finished, of course. I've got to set it up. So let me take this. Uh, where's our exploding barrel? Here, right? So it's got a fire. Grab the fractured barrel. Drop it in. Change the uh, position. Reset its position. Now let's go have a look at the barrel. And I think by this time you can pretty much guess what I'm going to do. Well, in the next video anyway. I am going to have this, the fractured pieces. I will have them disabled to begin with. And when the barrel is destroyed, uh, the barrel will be gone. This will be unparented. It will lose its parent uh, and become free in the hierarchy. And it will be activated. And you, of course, have all these pieces which will fly about. So that's it. So it is pretty simple. Uh, and you'll see in the next video the code that I write. I'll have an activate shard script that will allow the uh, pieces to activate. So let me just hit apply. This is what I want. So now the other barrels also have a fractured barrel uh, component for the game objects. And of course, if I hit play right now, absolutely nothing will happen. I won't see that stuff. Uh, the barrel will just blow up. Uh, it will disappear. And of course, there are no shards yet, because we've got to write the code for that. Okay, so excellent. That's how you uh, fracture objects uh, really well. It's much better. That version made by the guy, the Scorpion, the username Scorpion81, he's made a much better uh, version of uh, the fracturing side of Blender than the built-in add-on. So I do recommend you use that, and you can go and fracture any type of game object. You just have to fiddle with the seed values and stuff and the other settings till you come to something that you like, and then you're good to go. And then you can just be fracturing objects. And once you've done the next video, oh, you'll be completely free. You'll be able to, uh, well, make all sorts of stuff explode. Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.